Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Saucetta. We begin with meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke in the forecast. Hi, Kristen. Good afternoon. More of the same. The weather pattern really stagnant, so southwest winds continue to blow in the smoke from the fires in Arizona. So smoky, hazy conditions for us in the afternoons. And then, of course, as we get into the early part of the evening, it gets a little bit worse and then clears out during the day. So that's what you can expect again tomorrow. Uh, lots of sunshine other than the haze, no rain for us. Uh, we're just going to continue to deal with the smoky, hazy conditions through Thursday. And, of course, the winds are high, gusting to 35 and 40 miles per hour. So high fire danger for a lot of the state. But the good news is by Friday, we will start to see some of that wind taper off, and that means better air quality for us. Seven day forecast here highs near 90 degrees through next week with more dry weather. We're going to see lots of sunshine through Saturday. Thanks a lot, Kristen. The Albuquerque handyman who murdered the woman he was working for will spend the next 30 years in prison. Kenton Warnick faced the family of his victim, Peggy O'Neill, as well as the judge in district court this morning. Warnick admitted to strangling and beating 61 year old O'Neill to death in 2009, then hiding her body in her garage. Today in court, O'Neill's family asked the judge for the maximum sentence. Warnick also spoke and blamed his drug addiction for snapping and killing O'Neill. Warnick took a guilty plea back in March. If not, he could have faced up to 89 years in prison if the case had gone to trial. Santa Fe County Sheriff's investigators looking for two home invasion suspects. Arrest warrants have been issued for Lucas Carreño and William Babo. They allegedly forced their way into a home in the El Rancho area May 26th, armed with baseball bats and a handgun. Investigators say they roughed up the victims, took money, and left. If you have any information on their whereabouts, call Crime Stoppers. The number there, 505-955-5050. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a great day.